What do you think is the greatest threat to the United States? Call is coming from inside the house on this one. Lack of critical thinking. Particularly my ignorance is as valid as your knowledge. That chain of stupidity has become the marching drum of the future death squads. Politics being ran like sports games. We need rank voting, and we need it real bad. Corporations and their insidious influence on our lawmakers. The steady erosion of critical thinking skills. Allowing your least noble inclinations to be hijacked arriving to the subversion of base emotions. This is the product. The mindset of reacting and acting out. That has been cultivated by the corporate church to fool people into thinking they're both acting in. Their best interests and. For themselves. They're not. Spoiled stupid. Hateful spiteful wound educated untraveled narrow minded bigots. Itself. Widespread political corruption. Historical revision is very popular here. And it shows. Some places need to develop some integrity and be honest about their past. Leaders who don't put their own people first also. Education. Edit I thought it can be education itself as well as a lack of education. The way things are taught in a one-size-fits-all is not beneficial for the youth and could definitely use a readjustment. Not to mention, there are corrupt people who threaten to remove and censor the impact of historical people and events. Thank for bringing clarity though. A lack of educated people is very dangerous but having a group of educated people can threaten the Position of these corrupt officials who shouldn't be representing us. The current American political system being perverted by money. Big business. When companies get too big, they have more money to influence politics. Starve out competition. Limit benefits and compensation to workers. And raise prices to customers. We are divided on politics now because big business wants us divided on politics. If you break them up, they have less money to influence the American people and politicians. And to be clear, I don't think this is purely an American problem but it's definitely more glaring in the US. People who are intolerant to other people's cultures and the Dutch. Stupidity of its own citizens. It's a real problem. The increasingly willful ignorance of the American people. Our own unwillingness to sit down and work together to find common ground and workable, reasonable solutions. Our greatest hope is when we stop following those that only pursue money and power and instead turn to those willing to work together. Ignorance driven ideologies. American self loathing and the decline of public education itself. Corporate interest dominating government instead of a shared concern to develop human capability and increase quality of life. Money is distorting the existing American political system. Social media. Politicians. High fructose corn syrup. The United States. We are our own worst enemy. The growing disparity between the wealthy and the poor. The now long entrenched culture of instant gratification. Groups working to overthrow our democracy. The greatest threat to the United States or any other country is gullibility. The quality of being easily deceived or tricked. And too willing to believe it. Themselves. They're their own biggest threat. The United States. The biggest threat today in the US and also the world over would be widespread misinformation. Disinformation and propaganda via the social media. Division. Half of you think I'm wrong. Honestly? The thing that scares me most right now is apathy. Hopelessness. Doomerism. There's no doubt we face extraordinary challenges and evil intent in high places. But I think the disillusionment we all feel is a double-edged sword. 
If we allow the coldness of the world and its brutal mechanisms to beat us down into giving up, then we've lost the war without them firing a single shot. Nuclear weapons. Climate change. Bioweapons. Superintelligent AI. Asteroid comet impact. Yellowstone. Civil war. Terrorism. Authoritarianism. The ultra-rich and the ultra-religious. Themselves. Americans. You seem hell-bent on going to civil war. There is no threat more serious than yourselves right now. In terms of public safely, I'd say people with untreated mental issues that have access to guns. Tired of all these fucking shootings. Its own people. The fact that there is a solid percentage of Americans that want an authoritarian government as long as it is their authoritarian government. Kids dreaming to become TikTokers instead of astronauts. Nobody saying AI? Huh. Economic crisis. Politics is like a circus. As an outsider, who has visited your lovely country a few times? Education. How can individuals make an informed political decision? I'd they can't tell their ass from their elbow? Oh shit. That's the plan. But homeless people. The national debt. Our government. Making deals like what we just saw in the House. Allowing eight rogue Republicans to bring our government to a standstill for 20 days. For no good reason whatsoever. Anti-intellectualism. With the erosion of education in general. Now there are actually people who say that people who have studied a particular subject all their lives are wrong based on fear 10 minutes Google search. Stupidity. The vast majority of Americans are incredibly stupid. Donald the Amount owed to J.P. Morgan Chase Bank. The politicians that run it. The loss of free thought. We live in a society where people compete within their own factions to see who is more liberal or conservative. People are wrapped up in how devoted they are rather than having an objective opinion on anything. The Yellowstone Super Volcano. Quite a number of people in this thread. MAGA Republicans. Federal politics being turned into sporting events. Only the two teams are a corporation and a cult. We're about to have another civil war. And it won't even be between different parts of the country. Citizens United. Corporations aren't people, and their money isn't speech. Decreasing education level. Money in politics. Stochastic terrorism and misinformation, both of which go hand in hand. I disagree with America's issues being framed as a two-party issue. As there are really five-seven voting blocs in the U.S. Similarly, though both sides' ism is currently a problem, party loyalty in the long run is unwise. But encouraging violence and misinformation is and will be the problem for quite some time. The United States. Internal politics being dominated by people who have zero respect for the free democratic institutions on which the country was founded. People who crave power and money over anything else. And who truly care nothing for what happens to their country. I don't care which party they belong to and they can be found in all parties these people need. To be removed and treated as the scumbag traitors they are. Corporations are not people and as long as they are considered to be people the U.S. government is never actually going to serve the people. Legal bribery of politicians through campaign donations. Our elected officials don't represent constituents. Rather just corporate interests. And then we wonder why we can't have things like decent health care and education. But we can give massive tax breaks and even subsidies to the wealthiest entities in existence.